You need to become your best friend. How do you expect somebody to know you inside and out and you don't even know yourself inside and out? People don't want to be by themselves. They constantly want to be distracted. You become that. You are your new lover. Romance yourself. When you love yourself more, deeper, harder, there is nothing that you wouldn't do for yourself. You want to go out and make more money because you're like, I love myself so much, I'm worth it. You want to go get the dream house because you're like, I love myself so much, I deserve to be there. You want to have the dream partner because you're like, I love myself so much that I know I can love somebody just as hard as I love myself. Hi guys, it's Nigel. welcome back to my channel. So shout out to the comment section because this video comes straight from the comment section. I love you guys' comments. I love to read them. I love to hear your thoughts and what you're thinking. And this video was requested from the comment section. One of you beautiful ladies asked, how do I find happiness within myself? You guys know we've been chatting about self-obsession and self-love lately, so I love this topic. And I told her, of course, I will make a video about this topic. By the way, my name is Nigel Sim. I help awaken women create their dream life through manifestation tactics. If that sounds like something you're into, please stick around. The family, the community is growing and I couldn't be more excited. So let's get into it. The topic for today is you must love yourself more. Let's chat about it. The first thing on the list of how to find happiness within yourself, one, Know thyself. You guys have heard this like probably all the time. Know thyself, know thyself. What does this mean? You need to become your best friend. Become your best friend. I know you guys probably have a list of girlfriends, a list of people you like hanging out with. Well, I'm telling you this. If you are not your best friend, you are doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You need to enjoy your own company. You need to enjoy doing things with yourself and by yourself. You need to know everything about yourself. How dare you ask somebody to be your best friend and show up for you and do these things for you and you don't even do that for yourself. So step number one is know thyself. Everything that there is to know about you, you need to know. Discover it. If there's something, and I know it's crazy, like how could I not know everything about myself? You probably don't. If you haven't done the self work, you might not know everything about yourself. So, know thyself. So what does becoming your own best friend look like? Do this exercise, you guys know we're all about the techniques here. I want you to make a list of all the attributes you want in a best friend. Think about a best friend you already have and you're like, oh my God, they're the best person ever. I love the way they treat me or create somebody in your head that is a best friend if you could create your own best friend like build a bear workshop build a best friend workshop make a list of all the attributes you want in a best friend do they show up when you need them are they on time do they keep their commitments to you do they like to go out with you what are the attributes of a best friend that you would love create your own best friend in your head take that list and this is what you need to start being to yourself. You know what I find really interesting? There are a lot of girls or women who have these high expectations for their friendships. And you should, rightfully so, have high expectations for your friendships. But are you showing up for yourself that way? How can you expect other people to show up for you in a way that you don't even show up for yourself? How do you expect somebody to know you inside and out and you don't even know yourself inside and out? So I want you to make that list of what is a best friend to you and you need to become that to yourself. Whatever you say on the list. Does your best friend call you on a regular basis? Does your best friend check in on you on a regular basis? You need to do that to yourself. You might be asking Nyjah, how do I check in on myself? Do you guys know how crazy I am? Can I just like exploit myself real quick? Sometimes I will turn on the camera on my phone and like act like I'm FaceTiming myself and just start talking. I'll be like, hey girl, how are you? What you up to? Okay, what are you trying to work on today? Like, what are, do you have any goals for the day? Oh, okay, cool, how do you feel about that? You know, like, I talk to myself like I'm a crazy person. When I take myself on a walk on, in the morning, I'm talking to myself. I have a relationship with myself. I am the first relationship I had with myself. You know, they say like your mom is your first relationship. I was my first relationship, right? I'm trying to, like, I'm not trying to be funny, but, like, talk to yourself. 
Cultivate a relationship with yourself. This is how you find happiness within yourself. Why? Because you have to know yourself to know what makes you happy. What would make you happy? You have to know yourself to answer that question. So that's my tip number one. Become your own best friend. My next tip that I have for you guys is intentionally spending time alone. People are going to hate this. People are going to hate this. People don't want to be by themselves. They constantly want to be distracted. Distracted by social media. Distracted by their friendships. Distracted by their boyfriends, their girlfriends, their partnerships. Distracted by watching YouTube videos mindlessly. Even distracted by their career sometimes. You are afraid to spend time by yourself. I used to have this... Um, boyfriend who he was always hanging out with the guys always with the guys always with the guys always with the guys and felt incredibly uncomfortable being by himself felt incredibly uncomfortable just on the weekend just chilling at home by himself felt incredibly uncomfortable in his own presence that didn't work for me you cannot constantly be entertaining other people you cannot constantly be in front of other people. How is God going to give you divine downloads when you're constantly being bombarded by other people's ideas, other people's messages, what other people want from you? That's not healthy. You need to spend time alone. So what I'm proposing to you is one day a week, decide what day you're going to spend the time completely in solitude right? When your friends hit you up and say, hey, do you want to go get a smoothie? I can't. This is my me day. When your boyfriend's like, hey, do you want to go out on a date today? I can't. This is my me day. When your mom is like, hey, baby, I miss you. Can you come over and let's hang out? I can't. This is my me day. You need a day that is exclusively for you, for your self-care, for your self-talk, for your relishing in your you -ness. Remember I told you guys that I sit at my altar and I do my self-love work, right? Pick a day that you are going to exclusively focus on you, where you do not have other commitments, you're not sitting on the phone letting people trauma dump with you on the phone telling you about their day and what they're up to and what they're thinking. You need a day when you are completely and solely in your own energy, enjoying your own essence, ruminating and growing in the, the beauty that is you. You need a day of solitude. This doesn't mean you don't have to talk. Like I said, on my day of solitude, I go on walks and I talk to myself. I'll act like I'm FaceTiming myself if I get lonely. Like not because I'm not FaceTiming myself because I get lonely, but I'm FaceTiming myself because I want my internal chatter to come out. I want my higher self, my soul conversation, I want it to come out. I want to have a conversation with myself. Why? Because all of the answers are within you. When you book a coach, and this is the way I am, when people book me to, to talk to them, I'm not consulting you. I'm not telling you, you need to do this, 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 and that. I'm asking you questions. I say, how do you feel about that? What are you trying to achieve? What do you intuitively feel like is next for you, right? This is what a good coach does. A good coach pulls the information out of you. They're not telling you, this is what you need to do. This is how you need to act. This is how, no. When I'm chatting with my clients, I'm like, well, how did you feel about that? What do you think about that? What do you feel like the next step is? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you think? Because it doesn't matter what I think. Everyone's divine soul blueprint is completely different, right? So you have to have the answers come out of you. But if you're constantly talking to people 24-7, constantly binging content 24-7, scrolling on TikTok for hours a day, watching YouTube videos for hours a day, now there's nothing wrong with educating yourself if that's how you're using the platform. But if you're only on the platform for entertainment purposes, you are numbing out your mind and you are diluting the self-talk. This is how God tells you what's next. This is how God is like, this is where you're going to move next. Go. This is who you're going to marry next. Go here so you can meet them. This is what your next business opportunity is. Do this. You don't get those downloads when you are like fluttered with other people's information. So you must spend time by yourself in solitude so that you can get those divine downloads, right? Meditation on your day of solitude. Spend some time meditating, right? I'll try and meditate like 15 to 20 minutes every single day. Why? Because I need my higher self to talk to me. I need to know what's next. I need to hear the divine blueprint.
I'm trying to stay on alignment with my Taya's timeline. If I'm constantly talking to other people, getting information from other people, how am I going to be in alignment with my highest timeline? You're asking me how to find happiness within yourself? Won't you be so happy, so over the moon fulfilled if you were on your highest possible timeline? Living in the house you want to live in, being with the partner you want to be in, going on the trips you want to be in, wouldn't that make you the happiest that you've ever been? Yeah. So you need to be able to hear yourself, hear your soul speak, hear God speak to you, through you, inside of you. This is where the information and downloads come from. And that is why it is so important to spend time with yourself. Okay? So if you're trying to find happiness inside, you have to know what happiness looks like to you. So keep your ears open. I had an intuitive dream about this the other night that I need to be listening more. Listening more for the divine guidance, divine downloads. This is how you create your dream life, okay? You don't do it by yourself. Literally, your higher self, your soul tells you, do this, do that, do this, do that. But if you can't listen, it is going to be very difficult to get the highest of the highest timeline for yourself, okay? So the next thing, oh, and the last thing I want to say about that is when you're having your, your, your day, when you're in solitude, focus on yourself. When people ask you, hey, do you want to do this? Hey, do you want to do that? You have to be like, no, I can't. I'm focused on myself today. For example, like I had this for a while. I was going to the gym every single morning. This was my routine. I wake up, make my coffee, go to the gym. Wake up, make my coffee, go to the gym immediately, right? And sometimes I would have my girlfriend call me and she would want to sit on the phone for three hours because I don't know what she was doing. Like she wakes up super early. She had already finished everything she needed to do in her day. And now she's just chill and relaxing. I'm like, girl, I haven't made it to that point in my day yet where I can afford to just sit on the phone with you for two or three hours and talk about nothing. Love you, but I can't afford that. This time right now that you're calling me because you're done doing all the things that you prioritize for the day. I still have things on my priority list. I still need to go to the gym. I still need to meditate. If I take the time to sit on the phone with you for three hours, I'm going to be thinking about all the things that you've downloaded into me instead of all the things that I need to be focused on. So again, prioritize what is important to you. I remember also like when I was growing up, you know, the morning was so sacred to me. So sacred that like if my mom wanted to talk to me in the morning, I'd be like, I can't talk right now. Like, love you, but I need to keep my mind clear and focused on what I need to do first thing in the morning. And then after I do what I've woken up to do, then I have time to talk about things, listen to things, chat about things. I can't do that first thing in the morning. Your mornings are so sacred. Okay, if you can't afford to spend an entire day with yourself, at least, at least save the morning for yourself when you, when you have the most energy to create your dream life first thing in the morning, do the most important things to you first thing in the morning, whether that's going on your walk, talking to yourself, meditating, do that first thing in the morning before people have time to download their information into you. Okay. Here's the next thing I want to tell you guys, how to find happiness within yourself. Become your own lover. Ooh, this one is so good. I love it. I love it. I love it because I want to be in love, obsessed with myself, right? If you are somebody who is trying to call a lover into your life, call a specific person into your life, manifest your, your dream partner, your husband, right? You need to become your own lover first. How do you do that? Make a list of the attributes that your perfect partner has. They show up on time. They take me on dates. They tell me they love me. They give me words of affirmation. List down the perfect partner for you. Who do you desire to marry one day? Make a list. Do not skip out on these things that I'm telling you guys to do. Make a list. Don't just make the list in your head. Physically write it down. There's this YouTuber who calls it a love list, right? What are the things that you need your partner to possess? Now, 
you need to embody it because how dare you ask somebody to be all these things for you when you are not that for yourself. You are not going to be able to see the divinity in your dream partner if you do not know what it looks like. So make that list of what your dream partner, what your dream lover is like and then you need to put it on like it's an outfit right if you are again build a bear build a lover if you are building that perfect person you decide what attributes they have what is their character like who are they how do they act how do they treat you now i want you to put it on like it's an outfit you become that you are your new lover even if you're already married already have a boyfriend you will have an even deeper richer more delicious relationship with your partner when you become your lover first okay what does this look like this is the inner self talk how do you want your dream partner to talk to you talk to yourself that way if you want somebody to give you good morning texts right you love a good good morning text Send yourself a good morning text, right? This is something that you guys are going to think I'm so crazy, but I don't give a furf because this is the relationship I have with myself. When I'm feeling lonely, when I'm feeling lovesick, when I want to talk to my partner and he is not currently in my reality, I write myself a text message as if I'm him, right? Or I write a text message as if I'm sending it to him and I send it to myself. Did you guys know you can send yourself text messages? Yeah, type in your number in your phone and then just write text like you're writing to somebody else and then your phone will send it back to you so sometimes I do that I send myself text messages literally all day long when I get an idea or a download like a business idea or like a video idea or something that I need to do or create I text it to myself I'm creating and cultivating a relationship with myself this will make you feel so happy and so good within yourself to know that no matter what no matter how people treat you in the outside world you've got you you've got you no one can disappoint you you have you so become your own lover become your own lover you do this with the inner self talk how do you want your dream lover to talk to you? How do you want your dream partner to talk to you? Start talking to yourself that way. The internal dialogue in my head is just so juicy, right? And then like sometimes it gets a little bit like like dirty, like in a good way. Like mm, the inner self talk is just so playful, so pleasurable, so delicious. This is how you find happiness within yourself. Think about people who are like locked up in jail or locked up in prison, right? I would assume so that they don't go crazy, they have to like have really strong internal self-talk, right? So think about that. Like if you were stranded on an island by yourself, would you go crazy or would you cultivate an even deeper, richer, more delicious relationship with yourself? If there was no one else on the planet but you, what would that that internal dialogue look like right to become your own lover it's about that internal self-talk how do you talk to yourself talk to yourself the way you want your lover to talk to you and then i bet you when you meet that dream person in real life they are going to literally talk to you like they are a champion you're gonna be like oh my god you talk to me how i talk to me i'm so turned on <laughs> okay become your own lover romance yourself the way that you want your ideal partner your ideal lover to romance you you romance yourself right this is how you find happiness within yourself this is how you get to that status of i don't need anybody else i'm so fulfilled within myself and then that makes you even more magnetic to people who see you you can go out um, on a date by yourself, be sitting at a restaurant by yourself, laughing at your own jokes, eating your food, just like so blissed out because you have you. You have the best relationship with yourself. It's so rich. It's so juicy. It's so delicious. Get to that level of bliss. This is how you find happiness within yourself. Romance yourself. Everything you want your partner to do for you. So we've talked about like taking yourself on a date, writing yourself a love letter, buying yourself flowers, buying yourself gifts, touching yourself, caressing yourself, loving on yourself. Become your dream partner. Romance yourself. This is how you find happiness within yourself. The next thing I want to say is 
what do you love this goes back to knowing thyself what do you love pause for the cause pause the video and write down what do I love? And then just make a list of all the things that you love. For me, I love traveling. I love making YouTube videos. I love educating myself. I love reading books. I love taking myself out to eat. I love looking nice, feeling nice, looking beautiful. I love taking care of myself. I love self-care. I love doing my hair. I love doing my makeup. Make a list of everything that you love. Your list could be, I love riding horses. Your list could be, I love whatever make a list of everything you love this is how you find happiness within yourself make a list of what you love and then start giving it to yourself if you love going to get margaritas go get a margarita this is how you cultivate a strong delicious blissful relationship with yourself this is how you cultivate self-love you must love yourself more how can you love yourself more? By knowing yourself more. By giving yourself the things that you desire. This is how it happens. So make a list of all the things that you love and start giving it to yourself. Major key. Do it, y'all. Okay? Ask yourself the question, what do you desire? What are your desires? Okay? If you want to make yourself happy, you need to know what you want in life right? What are your goals? What are your dreams? What are your aspirations? You must know it and then you must give it to yourself, right? So for me, one of my goals is I really want to host a retreat with all of my beautiful awakened women who have created a community with. I can't just know that about myself. I have to give it to myself. I have to fulfill my wishes, fulfill my dreams because no one else is going to fulfill your dreams for you. No one else is going to fulfill your dreams for you. And so if you want to feel fulfilled in life, you have to have goals and go after them. You have to know your desires and go after them. This is how you find happiness within yourself. Okay, I'm almost done with the list. This one is a major key, major key, major key. Take notes, ladies. Become your own parent. You know how there's this like dialogue about reparenting yourself, reparenting yourself, right? Like maybe your child, your childhood was traumatic or your mom wasn't around or your dad wasn't around or maybe they were around but they were abusive and it shaped the way that you see yourself and the way that you see the world. I want you to make a list of the parent that you want, right? Erase who your biological parent is. I want you to make a list of what your ideal dad is like. Dad shows up to my baseball games. Dad is strong. Dad is masculine. Dad is a provider. Dad is whatever. Make a list of all the things dad is. Dad's a good listener. Dad is there for me. Dad shows up. Now you need to be that for yourself, right? To cultivate the divine masculine energy within yourself. What about your mom, right? A lot of us, like, you might have had a narcissistic mom, a mom that was jealous of you, a mom that tried to, you know, whatever. Mom didn't want to see you succeed past her. Whatever issues you had with your mom, right? Mom was an alcoholic. Mom was abusive. Whatever. Erase that and think about what your ideal mother is. Mom is nurturing, mom is loving, mom is there for me. Mom kisses my boo-boos. Mom makes delicious meals for us every night. Mom, whatever, who is your ideal mom in your head? Embody that now. Put it on like it's an outfit. You must become your parent. Become your mother. Become your father. This is how you find happiness within yourself. A lot of people will like hold themselves back and say, oh, because I was abused as a child, I can't be great. Because my dad wasn't around, I can't be great. Because my mom, you know, was a narcissist, I can't be great. Why are you letting that hold you back? That should be fuel for how you're going to be even better. How you're going to be an even parent to yourself. How you're going to love yourself even more, right? Write down the attributes of what an ideal mother or an ideal father is and you become that. Reparent yourself. This is going to make you feel so grounded in who you are. 
right major root chakra activation because for a lot of us we have root chakra issues because of our upbringing because we don't feel safe in the world when you reparent yourself you feel so much safer and you go after your goals and your dreams because you feel rooted in who you are so reparent yourself okay and then the next thing i said was give yourself what you want you know how we're like, oh, I want my man to buy me this. I want my man to take me on trips. I want, you know, I want this. I want that. Start giving yourself what you want, right? Start giving yourself what you want. You be the provider of what you want. Don't wait for other people to give you what you want. This is how you find happiness in yourself. Giving yourself what you want is an act of self-love. You must love yourself more. When you love yourself more, deeper, harder, there is nothing that you wouldn't do for yourself. You want to go out and make more money because you're like, I love myself so much, I'm worth it. You want to go get the dream house because you're like, I love myself so much, I deserve to be there. You want to have the dream partner because you're like I love myself so much that I know I can love somebody just as hard as I love myself you love yourself so much there is nothing you wouldn't do for yourself this is how you find happiness within yourself you have to start giving yourself what you want the last few things on my list is be your own provider this one is a major key, especially for my divine feminine, because we all want to find a provider. It's so important for me to find a provider. How can I attract a provider? I must provide for myself. This is going to make you feel so safe in who you are. Being able to meet your needs, being able to pay your rent, being able to pay your car note, being able to afford the things that you need, being able to afford your groceries, being able to fully provide for yourself. This is how you find happiness in yourself. A lot of feminine women are afraid of life because they cannot provide for themselves they can't take care of themselves and then they feel like they need someone else to do it for you you're putting yourself in a disempowered state if you need somebody to provide for you the more and harder you provide for yourself the harder that other people are going to show up and provide for you when you're with a man who knows that you don't need him but you want him he's like i'm going hard for her because she doesn't even need me i'm going above and beyond for her because she doesn't even need me right become your own provider the last thing i'm going to say is cultivate trust within yourself this looks like listening to your intuition spending time in meditation so you know what's next when you get the divine download that says don't go don't drive down that street listen to yourself right because maybe you were going to get into a car accident and you didn't because you listened to your intuition or when your intuition says you need to eat this not that Listen to yourself. This is your higher self, the God within you, trying to guide you and navigate you to your highest possible timeline. Cultivate a strong relationship with your intuition. Listen to yourself. This is how you find happiness within yourself. You don't need to hire a medium, listen to all these tarot readings to know what to do next. You have intuition. So all the tarot readers you're listening to, like, yeah, you can listen for entertainment if that's fun for you, but you've got that ability within yourself. Cultivate that intuition within yourself. This is how you love yourself more. This is how you find happiness within yourself. That is the end of my list. I know this was a little bit of a longer video, guys. Thank you for sticking around and hanging out with me. I really want you guys to love yourself harder. Do not wait for somebody to come into your life to love you. You love yourself harder. This is how you get into that bliss frequency where you love yourself. You're obsessed with yourself. You're obsessed with your life because you have the best relationship with yourself. All right? My name is Nigel Sam. I help awaken women create their dream life. You guys, we have a private community now that you can join if you want to do group coaching. The link is down below. Check it out. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video.